we've been Division I now for a little over 10 years. We were an NAIA team for a long time. I came here 25 years ago. It was a difficult process. Uh, you take your lumps in the first several years, but we started heading in the right direction. And uh, we've had a good seven or eight years. The wonderful thing about it this year is that, that these young men have been totally unselfish. Throwing basketball, I love it here. I love playing here. Uh, you know, we're a, a really uh, tight-knit group. Um, you know, we get along well in the locker room. We get along well on the court. You know, I think this year we've shown that we play with a lot of passion. We play really hard. When I first got here, we were more of an offensive team. But uh, I just feel like uh, everybody is starting to come together on the defensive end, and that's what's really getting us, um, you know, these 30-point wins. Mainly, I think it's our depth this year. We play 11, 12 guys every game, and, and it's such a relief to know that when you go in, you can go as hard as you possibly can for even two or three minutes, and you've got somebody coming back in. Uh, whereas a lot of teams, you have to pace yourself the entire game. So it's great knowing that you can go in and go 100% the whole time. We just ended up with a team where one through 12, we felt like there was very little difference. In fact, I told a lot of people before the season started, you can take the first five picks on our team and then somebody else can take the next five and I'm not sure there's a difference in the two teams. We're always pulling for one another. We don't really care about minutes or points and you know that's what's really helping this team and nobody really cares who scores. We just go out there and execute the offense and, and do exactly what coach uh, plans for us. Shot in. I think it's one of the great things about this team. I don't think we have a whole lot of a lot of big egos or you know guys wanting to get there so I think everybody's willing to work as a team. It's been amazing the comments we've received from fans and from, from other coaches about that part of it. The unselfishness of our team is what seems to get everybody's attention. We're really a, a great team. We play well together and uh, we, we pick each other up. There's a buzz, especially this year on the community. And uh, you know, people know that we're working hard and trying to do something special. Good. Look, at, look right there. Good. 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 In practice, it's very intense and very enthusiastic. And there's no uh, no dragging around. Hold up. Hold up. We were in trouble right there. We were about seven seconds, and I hadn't seen you in the middle flashing for the ball yet. Okay. Coach Bird, he's a really humble guy, which is something you don't see from a lot of college basketball coaches. He's never the, really the one to take the credit. Good job starting out. Good good energy and enthusiasm. You know, less than 12 hours from playing a game. That's that's good job. Good job. He's a soft-spoken coach, but you know, at times he gets on us when we, when we need to. You get around him and watch in the air, okay? But don't make it so easy for him. I feel like he has his unique way of getting to each person. If there's two guys that can get there, pass fake to it, and take advantage of the fact they're already rotated down in there. Here we go. Work the post. Work the post. He knows X's and O's very well, knows the game of basketball very well, and uh, he's, he's a great coach. I'm glad I'm playing for him. You make a quick initial show, but by that time the guy's here. And then what you might end up having to do is become a secondary helper on another guy. My feeling is you need to be a teacher first. As I've coached longer and hopefully gotten more mature in my decision making, I'm less of a yeller and uh, try to be more of an encourager. Good job, good job, good job. Certainly you have to be demanding. You have to have expectations of, of guys' decision making on the floor, off the floor. We've had more academic All-Americans in the past 10 years than any other Division I program. We've had 11 straight years of a team GPA of over 3.0. For these guys to achieve so much academically as well as athletically means as much to me as conference championships for sure. If Kron's man throws, you might hear, but you're ready to get back to his man. Kron's not gonna come in here Everybody's going to jump to be a secondary helper once we've gone to double. Okay. I hope that our coaching staff is fun to play for, enjoyable to play for. That's, I think that's important that a guy comes to Belmont and he has a great experience. We've made friendships that'll last a lifetime. You know, we're always uh, joking around in the locker room and having a great time. We're having a, a great year on the court this year. Move the ball quickly. Same idea. Read the post. Look at the post every time. Go quick. Good. Good. Move. Move. The fact that we're playing so many people and that our players have embraced that with so much unselfishness, I think. It's almost a once in a career kind of thing to see a team that way. We want to win every game we play and we want to go to the NCAA tournament. 
uh, and we want to win some games there. So, you know, we know it won't be easy. Uh, we know it's challenging and uh, we got a lot of hard work to do, but, you know, we put in the effort and we put in the time and uh, we're going to give it our best shot.